What are you eating? <laughs> Chocolate chip. Oh. Chocolate chip cookie dough. It's the best. The saga continues. What are we going to talk about today? Well, I thought today, just as a bit of a change, right? Uh, car brakes, right? Okay. What's the best brakes for your cars, i.e. Brembo, right? Or air fryers. Failing that, what about air gunning, air guns, and all the competitions coming up? What about that? I mean, perchance. Let's talk, let's talk about competitions. So there's the Northeast Classic. Yeah. The odd thing about that name is it's only been around like one year, so it's not, I mean, very classic, is it? I, I still think, <laughs> but you can still be classic, though, can't you? Well, you can be classy, but not a classic is like something that's been around for a long time. Like, like okay, okay but let's when, say that if you say the FX Royale, oh, that's a classic. It's been around for a long time. Or like the Day State Revere, oh, that's a classic. It's been around a long time. Mm. You, the Northeast Airgun's been around for one year. I mean, okay, and they but, started. They started as the Northeast Classic. It wasn't like Northeast. It was the Northeast Classic right from the get go. So okay then. When when do you when do you get to the highest themes of the word classic? When when does that happen? I mean, what what changes, right? Uh, what what changes in your demeanor, as it were, as a competition? When do you suddenly go? Oh no, that's a classic. Well, if something is classic, doesn't that entail that it's been around for a bit? Weekend at Bernie's, classic. Exactly. There you go. Yeah. 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 So I do think Good. it has to be around at least ten years. I don't know. Yeah, I'd say twenty five. But I mean, yeah, I guess. I old. guess. Yeah, <laughs> I guess it. I mean, I I could say if it's been around for a long time or it's been going on. I mean, I'd think ten years minimally. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So in ten years' time, Northeast Classic will be actually in, indubitably classic. But right now, it's just in name only. The Northeast Classic. It, so that's coming up. That's coming up soon, I think. And then there's the Pyramid Cup coming up. And then the inaugural. The inaugural. Yeah. Clearly not inaugural. We, we need to before. add a lot of pedantic, like hyped up names onto all these competitions. I think EBR instead of Extreme Bench Rest, it should be Extreme Brent, <laughs> Extreme Bench Rest Extravaganza or something. Something to beef it up a little bit. It needs to get beefed yeah. up. Yeah. The classic then, EBR. No. Um. <laughs> The all-encompassing EBR. There we go. And then Utah. What's the Utah event called? Uh, uh, I uh, skip my mind right now. Right. So Armac. So Armac. It's, there you go. So Rocky Mountain Air Gun Challenge. So what? What are we gonna? What name should we suggest? I then? I would suggest maybe the um, the Utah Classic Rocky Mountain Air Gun Challenge. Actually, that works. That actually kind of works. Yeah, it does. Yeah. yeah. See, I, I've not, I've done EBR, as you know, um, did brilliantly, obvs, um, and I've not been to RMAC. Uh, we I'll, all had high expectations of you at EBR, and all those high expectations were met. Uh, hold on, <laughs> I did do well, thank you. I did my speed shoot, I did all right with that. Yeah, you actually did do good with that, considering it's the first time I was, if you actually practiced at that, I think you could... You could take a podium if you did it did it often. You did really, really well for the first time, so Well, I'm a classically good shooter. Classic ah, classically classic classically good shooter. <laughs> right. Obviously at more than twenty years. So uh, yeah, I'm a c I'm a classic a classical shooter. Ish. Now, can we please like address the elephant in the room? Uh, Philip Hepler, of course. Uh, right. <laughs> UFOs, ghosts. The supernatural, okay, come on. Well, let's let's first talk about the fact that we included him in both of our videos this last week. I mean, we both did. Yeah. Uh, you know, we're both on our part time. We're Steven Spielberg, both of us. You know, <laughs> I'm Steven. You're Spielberg. And, Thank you, uh, Dave Spielberg. That's me, <laughs> <laughs> the plumber. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so we do that part time, and in our part time videos, we both decided to include Philip Pepler for obvious Absolutely. reasons. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. Me, I was trying to open up a conversation on the end of the video, really 
the the mysteries going on that no one's addressing and it's something that only philip hepfiller can answer at this point. totally totally i mean when you think of big p right you think you think supernatural it's as simple as that i mean supernatural big p right something's there's something strange in your neighborhood who are you going to call big p big p now here's the question is he's doing these 15 minute you know field target session yeah. like podcast now notice he's totally ripped us off right he's doing he's doing what we do but he's doing it better clearly yeah but, uh, we're gonna do it even better so what what is your idea on beating hepler at his own game because he he stole our game which was the podcast he he stole it and so what we're gonna have to steal it back how are we gonna reappropriate it i think right we need to do 14 and a half minutes right to be really crap at hft i'd be good at that yeah well I, i've seen you shoot yeah you would you really really would i i, I think you'd be the top of the class or 13.7 minutes right to be a really bad hft slash ft shooter now yeah i could see that that'd be, that'd be, be, i think we could we could beat them we could beat them now that doesn't that doesn't deal with the the paranormal but it would at least deal with the facet that we're concerned with he's the one obsessed with the paranormal we're not we're just I, i'll we're go be focused honest on, we're hyper focused or monomaniacally i should say monomaniacally on air, absolutely <laughs> on air guns. empirically empirically yeah. <laughs> yeah on air guns but philip he's always going on on about bigfoot and stuff and it gets on my nerves it gets on my nerves i mean yeah. the, your video proved that and things yeah i don't know whether obviously you've seen tristan's video i mean there there are clear signs yeah, yeah. i mean there are signs i mean the film we're leave we're leave him in his corner and we're just stay back to the air gun so let's carry uh, on carry on and leave the paranormal to hepler and we're just uh talk about what we're going to talk about so there's a lot of new guns coming out this year a lot of them I know it kind of comes in waves. Like sometimes Shot Show will be like really cool. There'll be a couple of cool things come out of it. Yeah. And then sometimes there'll be absolutely nothing. What have you seen any new guns that you like this year? Yes. Uh, the, the, the Galahad, right? Uh, they've brought a new one out called the Sir Galahad. Hello, <laughs> Sir Galahad. No, they haven't. They haven't. That's not true at all. Right. But it would be really funny if they did. Right. And it's like slightly off pink. Right. Little tiny barrel. Right. Um, anyway, no. So uh, the epic, epic guns are looking lovely. I like the epic guns. They're nice. Um, I, I think that they're from Czech Republic. They're a nice gun. What are you drinking there with your big gay cup? Coffee. It's coffee. Coffee. Is it? Yeah. So is this. Anyway. Um, so the epic, the epic two, I think, is a lovely looking thing. You reckon it looks like another gun? I yeah, it look, it looks like American Air Arms. It looks like a direct copy of American Air Arms. And actually, the, oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. You can't say that. You can't say that. I can't say that. It looks like a direct copy of American. <gasps> uh, excuse me. Well, okay, right. I'll see. I mean, you in that's court. what it looks like. I mean, literally, yeah. it looks looks like that i don't know maybe maybe it is and maybe just the outside looks identical but um I, I guess the shroud is carbon fiber that's the main difference i don't know i'll, there you I'll go. wait i'll wait till i see it in person when i so do. they they look nice uh so i like the epic too i think that looks a really nice gun and the configurations you can get with it you can get the lungs uh you can get the like the the, the decent bottle and things right you know the seven the sort of 480 580 700 or you can get the long uh, cylinder, which is great. I mean, you know, whatever your, whatever floats your boat, as it were. Then you've got, um, you can change the stock. You can, you know, there's loads of stuff you can do with it, which I, I, I find very interesting. So that's the first gun. The second gun, obviously, the Karma, my uh, my little fave, as as one can imagine. That Karma looks a bit of kit now. It's coming out. They've got the thirty cows in now. They've got the two fives coming in and the two twos. You should come. move your camera just a little bit off to the side so the sun's not literally going in the lens. How's that? A little more. Just go a little more. A little okay. more. Okay. Right. So I'm now sat in the corner. Thanks. Well, I can actually see your face though. Uh, yeah. Play some sexy music over that bit, please. <laughs> right. 
So um, karma. Yeah, the karma. I mean, that that's just that it's done it all. It's won everything. It, it, it is the gun to hand. It, it, the, the, just name another gun that's come out the blue that's just done what it's done. I, I think it's been tremendous. I think it's been, uh, you know, it, Donnie's put his money with his mouth is and things, right, and gone, I'm going to do this gun. It's going to be this, this, and this. And it has, and it's done everything, and it's beaten everyone. Yeah, great, wonderful. Um, that is going to be an interesting gun to look at. It, um, no, so, I mean, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm doing their stuff, but... Uh, yeah, I'm only too happy to. I mean, like, my goodness me, it's it's the same as if uh, Formula One, you're not into Formula One, are you? You know, if Sauber said, oh, listen, we've got a gun for you, right, or a car for you, you'd go, no, not great, because they're very, very slow. Whereas, like, Red Bull, they go, we've got the, uh, you know, the new RB. Do you, do you fancy a bit of that? You'd go, yes, I flip in do. Yes, I flip in do. So here's my question. Are the guns that are coming out now going to be in the same ballpark or even close to the one that Thane and Val shot in the competitions? Here's the thing. Will they be of the same ilk, as it were? The, com the competition to the Karma. No, no. So the, 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 the Karmas that are coming out now... Will they be the same as the ones that were shot at EBR, Armac, and Pyramid, and all that? Will they be I the don't same gun? I don't think so at all. Because I mean, if you look at any man, any the top ten people at any competition usually have highly modified guns. Right. My guess is that the Thane and Val. If I was to put my my thinking hat on, I would say that there's a special barrel, and that they might even have a thousand dollar barrel. I don't know, but that's yeah, yeah. Guess. Um, and if I was them, I would do that. If exactly. You to win. You not? Yeah. Um, so, I mean, I don't know. Who knows? It's, uh, they're, they're, I mean, they're, they're say it if they want to say it, but I doubt that that is in any kind of way the same gun. I mean, I think they've even said as much that the production gun, they've made a few modifications since the pre-production gun, but that pre-production gun, they, I'm sure they put a thousand hours of work into it and then, wow. yeah. you know, lots and lots of shooting. Uh, the thing Valor are good, good shots too. I mean, oh, they're, they're, they're top shots, yeah. And they're, they're top, top shots. shots beforehand. So I think, I mean, you can take any guy like Fatty who won the world title with the who? Ghost. Who? <laughs> he, uh, he no, sorry, could, the, what, what's his name again? You know, that <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, random dude. Uh, he could probably pick up any brand and win. Yeah. And I think Thane and Val could do that as well. I mean, I think, I think honestly, a good shooter, I think if, if you had a Marauder with a thousand dollar barrel, I think you could win a competition, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So especially, I mean, I think it really comes down to the shooter and then the the the, the barrel and obviously the consistency shot to shot. Totally agree. Things. So I think if you you have a Marauder and a good barrel, it's gonna it's gonna do pretty good. The thing is, most people don't have access to high end barrels, like really high end. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, they're, they're, and they're a bunch of money as well, aren't they? Let's be honest. I mean, they're, they're, these things are not cheap. If you if you want to go and get a bespoke barrel made for you with your own twist rate and this that, and the other, that's going to cost you like you know north of a thousand bucks. All yeah. Day. yeah, yeah, and then and then on top of that, you you probably still going to have to do quite a bit of polishing on the back end of that. Sure, sure. And yeah, then yeah. there's a chance, and then there's the chance too. You get that barrel, you do all that, and it's rubbish for. Yeah, that's just what you need. And then you, you're like, oh, I guess back to the dra drawing board. The 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 barrel that I found most accurate right now for both slugs and pellets, the only one that I found is the RTI uh, P P3 performance barrel. Is so, that the is that Lothar Walther? No, that's the proprietary one. So the Lothar Walthers are in the 25 and the 30. Yeah. And I I, I don't know if the 357 that they're coming out with is Lothar Walther. I I almost say it is. But the 22 specifically is the proprietary barrel, and it's a phenomenal barrel. And usually I see a barrel do well at slugs or pellets, not both. That one does really well in both. The other, the other one that does good, though, is like your... your My Red Wolf. Barrel. Yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah, one yeah. 17.7 barrel seems to do really good. It does, it does. It shoots, it shoots pellets, I mean, beautifully. It really does. The 25.39 JSBs are, are just the thing to behold, right? You know, 50 and 75, you go fine. Then you take it out to 100, right, on a non-windy day. And, and it's just, the consistency is phenomenal, right? And, and again, I mean, that, that comes down to 
the fact that the gun's working correctly, also the fact that the twist rate is right with the weight of the pellet, and also that the pellet is the same weight as the last one. And, you know, um, so, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> excuse me, you know, weighing pellets and this, that, and the other, you can find out what's, what's a good barrel and what's not a good barrel um, just by doing that. I mean, the chrono readings will show you, and, you know, it'll either be the pellets are off or the regs off, um, but if the barrel shoots them really well, then you got a good barrel. And I'm lucky, like you know, touch wood. I'm very lucky with my barrel because it is a very, very good barrel, and it shoots 23 grain zans like there's no tomorrow. It absolutely nails them. It really does. I mean, today it's been like uh, sort of 30 mile an hour winds here. Yeah, I tried to do a video this morning um, for for uh, OnlyFans. That's a different story. No. Um, anyway, so I, I did a video this morning with the. Uh, the safari and i think I, and... it'd be only masochists <laughs> yeah uh, only blind people <laughs> yeah like, only blind people do i hate my life yes yes right yeah <laughs> subscribe 25 pounds thank you very much so it's blind... exclusively a dislike button <laughs> <laughs> dislike. thank you very much harsh but um yes yeah, so the uh I, I was shooting it today and i, I did a group it wasn't the best group I've ever done by any stretch, but it was like, you know, 25 to 30 mile an hour crosswind, full value. And I'm like, and, and, I, and I nailed it, you know, four mil dots and it was like bang, bang, bang. And it was so accurate, you know? So yeah, I, I think that's a, that's a good barrel. And, but you've said to me about this RCI, you, you've said to me before, yeah, so this the, thing the is three, amazing. The, th the three barrels, I mean, especially with, I do a lot of the Walther barrels. Actually, a lot of the Walther different guns, different barrel sizes. The three barrels that I think are the very best that I've come across consistently are the RTI P3 Performance, just the 22 barrel only, only that one. Yeah, yeah. The the CZ 700 millimeter. It doesn't matter the gun. I'm talking. Yeah, about yeah, yeah. That 700 millimeter unchoked CZ barrel is really, really good. Right now, I have a caliber gun. It's my gun that I'm shooting. It's been down for a bit, but I just fixed it and got some help fixing it too. So that gun is a 700 CZ barrel. Really, really good. I'm still like discovering it though, because there's some weird stuff. Like it responds differently than Lothar Walther. And the third barrel that I've seen that does really good is your. Uh, Red Wolf, one in seventeen seven doesn't matter the platform. It does really, really, really good. Those See, three barrels. So this is what I don't understand with Daystate. Why didn't they put the same barrel as mine on the Ghost? Because the Ghost doesn't shoot slugs. I know, and and actually, that the, that's the curious thing. So the 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 World Edition, I think, is supposed to have like a one thirty twist. I'm pretty sure. And. So I have a friend, uh, Terry Clark. He's now on the Day State team here in America. I know. Yeah. He ordered the Red Wolf. Uh, sorry, not the Red Wolf. He ordered the Red, uh, the World Edition. Got it in, and he, you know, pushed the rod through. That's the first thing you got to do. He got a one in seventeen seven on his Ghost World Edition. He didn't get the one in thirty. So he has a one in seventeen seven right then, now. Then that's bang on. So that'll be pellet and, and and slugs all day. Yeah, and he's shooting the, he's shooting the which I was actually surprised about. In 22? Yeah. Well, how much power is that thing kicking out then? I, well, I think he's shooting it at, um, here, I'll check it out right now. He sh I think he's shooting it, well, I don't want to say on camera because he might want to keep this a secret, I don't know. Let's see. Um, I'll figure out the... But I mean, that, that's, the, I mean, for, but to be... In twenty two is is like a big ask anyway. From anything, right? That's yeah. that's heavy, heavy. Right? I mean, for my gun, thirty grains heavy. Okay, okay but let's my... just say he's shooting hypothetically eight eighty, right? Because that's the okay. tune people go off of all the time. All right? I know he's shooting a different one, but I don't want to give it away. Sure. So if he was shooting eight eighty with a. That's insane. Out of a twenty. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a bunch of power. And I mean, that to me seems a little too heavy, to be honest. Like the forty grain out of that 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 gun specifically seems a little yeah. too too. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, it could do it. It just it seems a little heavy for the task. Now you're saying the twenty three grain Zan shoots really well, so I should I should let him know about that. What speed? Oh. Are you... Uh, hold on. I'll tell you. Let me look at my phone. 
and it's uh, Roger Lee. It's like a little teenager. He's got everything on his phone. I have got everything on my phone. My he tweets his peeps on there. I Don't can't mean... believe Twitter renamed itself to X. I mean, we we need to rename ourselves something formally known as to. Let's do that. I know. Let's do that. We should do a podcast instead. We could say like, um, why? Formerly known as Atlas Air Formula, Podcast. <laughs> yeah, formerly known as. Uh, 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 all three listeners weren't interested. Right, hold on. Uh, now I've got a secret pro- project. I, no, I won't tell the audience what it is. But I got a secret project. I just bought another website, so I'll have to tell you about about it in a little bit. Uh, is that the fetish thing you were telling me about the other night? That was yeah. wrong, by the You're way. Rubbing, seriously, rubbing uh, your gun barrels. No. Yeah, and where are you going to get those goats from? <laughs> I mean, you're never going to do it, right? So, I, uh, why is it saying nine eight three? Oh, 983 then, but I don't think it was. 23 grain, 983. Hold on, let me... T- no, that's not right. No, 974. Yeah, hold on. Pyramid, because they've got a great thing. Pyramid ballistic calculator. This is so interesting for people. They're loving this. They're driving down the road going like, these two idiots should get proper jobs, stop being divs. Right, so 20, 23 grain, 984, 984, 48 or 49 foot pounds. Yeah, that's exactly what mine's doing, yeah. But that that's, that's right. what you shoot your 2539s at, right? Yeah. 984? But I tell you what, they work tremendously. Okay. They work tremendously. I um I shot a pigeon the other day. At, oh, no, I'll, 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 no, anyway, at a distance that was considerable, and and the person that sat next to me went, "Crikey, O'Reilly, that was a very long way away." And I said, "Yes, it was," and uh, it was a very long way. I'll tell you off camera, of course, and things. And anybody that knows me, text me, and I'll tell you. You won't believe me anyway. I've got a video to prove it. So unlucky, right? Can I go and fill my coffee cup up, please? Because my uh, Right, I've got a perk. Is it perk? What do you call the percolator things? The that thing. And then here is her. Hello. Is that okay? Now we got. We've got to deduce what you're talking about here. What's the thing you call right? The coffee thing, right? Okay. There's like a coffee maker. The coffee maker. Uh, the thing. carafe. No, that's a carafe of wine. Yeah. Oh my god. No. <laughs> no, no. Stop talking about wine, right? I was assuming you had wine in that thing anyway, so that's what that's kind of the no assumption was, that I had. Okay, thank so you. Well, that's you're, fine. You're not talking about French press. You're talking about drip, right? Drip coffee maker. Blip, 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 blip. Coffee, yeah. lovely. Yeah. What's it called? But there's a name for it. Coffee pot. <laughs> I don't know. Ow, coffee maker. Not- Oh, Mr. listen, coffee. yeah, Mr. Co- please, shall we move on right <laughs> from this? No, I got to figure this out. I no, can't. I can't think what you call it. <laughs> you can't figure out what you call what? No, you've called the, the machine that makes the coffee. There's a name that you've called it before. <laughs> coffee maker. Je- no, Je- Jessica did it and things, right? And uh, and Michael called it that. What, an espresso, espresso machine? Oh, I can't remember. Gee, anyway, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. The thing that makes coffee. <laughs> no, there's a machine that makes coffee, and there's a name for it, and you've you called it that, and I was like, oh, is that what you call it? A Keurig, maybe. A what? A Keurig, you know, like the self. You put the little drop of coffee. Oh no, no, there. yeah, no, no, not, not, not that. that machine. But no. Not that machine. Not but a anyway. coffee machine. Not a Keurig machine. Not espresso machine. So let, let me get this right, just really quickly. Let's recap here, right? So people have tuned into Atlas Air Gun Podcast. Air Gun Podcast. Not Atlas, like, uh, sort of... Um, coffee. Yeah. Coffee pod machines. No, they haven't. Right, so anyway, what air guns have you seen of late, right, that have floated your boat then? Uh, okay. Well, the, on the same vein that I was talking about earlier, I mean, still the P3 is a really cool gun. I really like Yeah, that. you do like that, don't you? Um, the Ghost, I still sell a lot of those. Um, they're just great guns. There's not, they're not very complicated. They're very easy to work on. Uh, they're very intuitive. So it's not like, if some of these Eastern European guns, you open them up and it's like, holy cow. And for a consumer, especially if you've not done that, it gets very scary, very fast, and a lot yeah. of people, for good, 
for good reason are kind of scared of air guns because they're high pressure devices. That's the secret though. Well, they just I... empty the air, you know. But yeah. Um, anyway, back to the story. The the P3 is still. I really like that gun. So the Mora is coming out. That's going to be like a bigger, badder yeah. version of the P3 for all intents and purposes, going up to 357. I'm really excited about that. I mean, obviously, don't have my hands on it, but I do want to see it. I want to get one in. So that's yeah. something I'm very excited about. Dane, Dane is getting one. Is he? Nice. Dana told me the other day. Um, he said, "Oh yeah, I'm going to get the uh, I'm going to get the new Mora," and I went like. Really, right? I said the nightmare, and he went, oh, "No, the Nora." I said that that's actually it's nightmare. I, I know that stuff. I'm clever, but anyway, and um, and he said, uh, "Oh right, okay." And he said, "Yeah, I'm getting the big cow one." And I went, "No, he's getting the three fifty seven, the big boy, the daddy." They call it the Rodge. They don't. They don't. I wish it would, but anyway, yeah. So that thing. So I mean. Wow, what sort of kind of what what kind of power is that kicking out? Well, you see, I have, I'm probably two fifty or two hundred thirty. Do you see yeah. the? Um, did you see the bottle that's on there too? It's like one point six liter. That's a big one. That's a pretty big bottle. Oh my! That's that's like one of those propane bottles. Now you seen? Oh you my see, god! You saw Scott Hull at EBR. He had that uh, on the Unlimited Class Extreme Big Four event. He has his. 257 air gun with basically a 75 cubic foot scott uh tank on it so that's what the more kind of reminds me of and now the more is going to have different configurations you can have smaller bottles but if you want to sit at your bench and shoot like a thousand pigeons you could get that large 1.6 wow. liter that would come in handy if you have the big four too but i personally probably would get the smaller bottle obviously <laughs> when you need a trailer for your bottle, that's yeah. that's kind of that's kind of bad, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, clever guns are they are nice. I do like the RTIs. I, I do. Um, you know, I, I think that you know the, the P3 when that came out, it, it really did excite me and things. And I did a bu bunch of posts for them and that, yeah. And uh, I, I thought it was a really good gun. Let's leave it there. <laughs> um. So let's see here. I'm posting a little picture of you right now. You're posting a picture of me. Yeah, looking dark and dangerous. Thank uh, you. That's the most yeah. kind of you. Thanks. <laughs> I'll be sure to do the same. Um, Reciprocity is a funny thing. Yeah. So, what else is going on there, Gun World? Hey, so, on ammo, uh, uh, Zan came out with some new ammo. You're a big Zan guy. Tell me about the new I am. Ammo. I am. The ELRs. Extra length rodge. Oh, no, sorry. No, no. It's extra long range. Yeah. Uh, ELRs. Oh, two, two and two fives. So I talked to Jean the other day and he was telling me about the ELRs and those things. Uh, boat tail. He's never done a boat tail before. So this is quite exciting. I think there's a company in America that do it. AVS slugs. You heard of them? Yeah, I have. I, I, I thought they were abroad. They're in America. I believe they're in America. I don't know. And there's a guy that does, he's really nice guy, really nice guy. So I don't know him. I've never talked to him. But the guy that does, he's got his own range and stuff. Yeah. And he's got Pantheras and he's got RTIs and Vulcans. And he shoots out to ridiculous distance, shooting balloons and that. It's, oh, I, I saw that. I saw that. Too. Uh, he's, yeah, he's a cool guy. Yeah. I really like him. He seems a really nice guy. It's always he, raining with him. He's, huh? sh he's, shooting, the, he's shooting the AVSs. He shoots the AVSs, right? And in 2.5, he's shooting a 50 grain uh, boat tail. And, and like, you can see the difference between the non boat tail and the boat tail. I mean, like, the, the, the boat tail was three inches higher, so the ballistic coefficient must be better, obviously. Uh, at the same speed, of course. Anyway, and obviously, Zan, Jean, Zan is now doing the same. Um, and I'm really excited to see what these things are going to be like because I think I think the two fives will be. I mean, you know, my 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 air gun at the moment isn't powerful enough to like shoot the uh, two twos. The new one will most certainly be in twenty two. Um, but the two fives, wow, they look in well, both of them look insane. So I'm really excited about that, and they'll be out <clears throat> in the next few weeks. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. 
so I'm yeah, I'm excited about that. So what else? He's got some new, I believe he's got some two five uh, bench rest tenets coming out, which look really good. Um, excited about that as well. I I, I, I want the, the two two bench rest pellets. That's what I'm interested in. But he won't answer my calls on that one. Terror. No. Um, so that's that. What else is going on? Um, oh, uh, I've been mucking around with thermal. Now, I, if I'm really honest, do you know when you go, so do you really need thermal? Do you really need thermal? I, I don't think anybody needs thermal. Until you have it. And then you go, oh my goodness me, this is a game changer. This mother flipping thing is absolutely a game changer. So I sat there today in, in 30 mile an hour winds plus, and I uh, was just scanning the trees with this thing, you know, and, and I was like, oh, there's a squirrel. And the wind was coming directly at us. Yeah. And, and the chap I was like shooting with, uh, there was a, there was a uh, squirrel up a tree and I, and I tracked it. He's going, I can't see it, I can't see it. I said, like, have a look through this, this um, spotter which was incredible, and the glass is incredible, or the glass, or the process, or whatever, and uh, 135 yards, bang, done, nailed it, and I was like, 135 yards, in 30 mile an hour winds, ain't many people that can take that shot, right, okay, I must be honest, it was directly at him, so it's going to be easier, but he, he now, the first shot, bang, done, lovely, dialed it in, and the safari was all over it, but had it, having, had I not had this this thermal spotter, uh, you know, I'd never seen it. It it it's a game changer. I am now thermal. Please call me Thermal Rog from now on. It's as simple as that. I am Thermal Flipping Rog. Love Thermal. You, well, you said simple, and simple and Rog go better together than. Oh, uh, do you think so? I think Thermal Rog is better. Simple, simple Rog. Thermal. Yeah, th th Thermal's pretty nineteen eighties. Uh, that could work. Now here's a uh, here's the thing I would have to say about that is when I went hunting for squirrels this year I realized that thermal you really need it because they wrap around the tree and then you can't see them and you I got skunked like three days in a row and the one the one squirrel that I did see it came out on the path that I was walking right in front of me and I had my magazine out of the gun because I was walking around for an extensive amount of time. So I was trying to put it in quietly, the, the magazine, and the squirrel's, like, looking at me, and he, like, fidgets just a second, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to lose him. And I'm like, I had to go to the Tacticam, and I hit the Tacticam on. It goes beep, 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 and then it runs away. I'm like, oh, God. But, yeah, thermal, thermal's pretty great because you can actually see stuff. It's brilliant. And I sat there today, like, you know, glassing out sort of, like, four or 500 yards. So where I shoot, it's a lovely, lovely big expanse, and there's trees down to about 250 and then behind that is another wood as well there's a field and another wood oh, we've got permission to shoot all over it and uh and it's like just sat there like you know with a thumb oh man that thing is just you know when you go how have i not done this before and i've i've, I've worked with thermal companies and stuff and the thermal back then probably wasn't as good as it is now but this thing is absolutely killer it's killer i'm not going to tell you all right, it'll be out. It'll be out on my Instagram soon, and I'll do a video very soon. But it's a really, it's a new brand, yeah. Um, but it works. It really does work, and it's not mad money either. I know that. I know there's the the, the you know we've, we've got the people in the ring at the moment and things, right? We've got Hick Micro, we've got like Pulsar and that, yeah. Hick Micro are doing all right. I I, I lost a bit of like. Uh, faith in them when my friend bought the hick micro 4k and it doesn't record it, it, it records now and again it's a bit like yourself actually funny enough it's uh it records now and again not not all the time uh it just completely waste your time you know two or three hours at your day and again Tristan don't care hick don't care um and then the pulsar thing right if my name started with the word shake then i'd buy one right but other than that you know you know you go there are a lot of money and are they as good as they are? They purport to be. I, I'm not so sure. With this new brand, so far, it could be it could be a little bit of a game changer because it actually works really well. It does pretty much all that they do, and the battery is just tremendous. It it's a good battery on it, 
Um, I used it all morning this morning and then came home, checked it, it was like 98%. Not hard to be 8 no, sorry, 98% done, it was 98%, that used like nothing. And I'm like, oh my God, so that's a really good bit of kit. So that'll be going out on my Instagram and stuff, yeah? Um, and a video coming up soon. Oh, so, sorry to keep you up. <laughs> so boring. Oh, it's all about me. Sorry, me, me, me. <laughs> right, yeah. Well, tell me about you then, Tristan. What you've been doing? God. <laughs> the Hick, the Hick micros look good. That you know what the 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 DS thirty five, the Pard. I think it's the DS thirty five. Oh yeah, nice. yeah, no, yeah, yeah. That looks nice. Yeah, nice. So, what night vision do you do you got? Zero. I got zero. Why is that? Just never bought one. That's got my uh, tax stamp. I mean, most of the videos I do are during the day. Obviously, I don't. Yeah, yeah. Don't really. I don't really pants around, pants around at night, and pants around. Pants. pants, pants. You said pants. You <laughs> said I don't pants around at night. <laughs> I don't prance around in the middle of the night and uh, with the Galahad. With the Galahad. With the Galahad. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot squirrels in the ass. She's scribbling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if I were to do that, yeah, I would most definitely have a thermal yeah. or night vision. No thermal. Seriously, it's a game changer. It really is. And just sat there today, and I'm looking at the woods, and I'm looking like glass in it. Or I've got like hawk binos and things, and they're, they're very good actually for what they are. And I'm like glancing around, lovely. And then you go with a thermal, and you go, well, there's one, there's one, there's one. And it's like, holy moly, he's a game changer. There were three in a row, and I missed every single one of them. It was brilliant. And it's nice to know what you missed. So that's good. Um, and that's about it, really. I don't, I don't know what anything else is going on. Air fryers. Do you want to talk about air fryers? The Why Ninja. The, ni the Ninja is <laughs> actually you? a good brand. They've got some good stuff. Are you are you doing any competitions this year? No, I'm not a competitive shooter, so just, no. But I, are you? I film uh, it, you know. Yeah, I mean, you, you you say film it. I mean, you you film bits of it. I mean, you know. I mean, this year hopefully you'll get more in frame and With you know, a eight, bit of, a bit of focus. We wouldn't go miss an eight eight millimeter. I just yeah. yeah. You know, Polaroid and stuff, yeah, right? Yeah, I mean, but listen, you try, and that's the main thing. Keep going. Come on, son. Keep going. I, I'm Robert Buchanan's looking at you going, oh, it's like the little, the little like ginger stepchild. But come on, like come on, <laughs> you can do this. You can do this, Tristan. Poor little old, soul. Old, old son burned out. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Cut his wages. Cut his wages, by the way. Yeah, definitely. So okay. Um, so would you? You'd be going to EBR, wouldn't you? I, you know, I don't know. I'm the, Secret I, I'm, I have... lovers. That's what they are. Sorry, uh, carry on. I. Uh... Right. I would say I'd want I want to obviously I've gone the last couple of years I think last yeah. three years yeah I think no like, last two years no I went no I went no you didn't you, you've never ever been without me because you because I tell you what Rogers in the house well okay? last year I was there without you yeah and you hated every minute of it and you cried every day and you phoned me I know that right okay obviously I've got I've got voice messages from you I missed you please come here it's no fun Jessica's a bully. Right, that's what you said. That's what you said, right? And I understand that. And um, and you also said, right? Uh, what's his name? Stephen from Ham. Yeah, okay. You said that he was a bully too, and you said he was nasty, <laughs> right? And he's vicious. Vicious yeah. words. Vicious, yeah. nasty, right? Yeah. But you know, there you go. You haven't got your rod. <laughs> what, what do you get? That's what you get. There you go. But there you go. Anyway. <laughs> So yeah, EBR. I don't know if I'm going. I want to go. I love EBR. I don't so, want to go. I don't want to go again. I didn't. Then, I didn't enjoy it. I didn't enjoy it. And then no, um, I did enjoy it. I did enjoy. It. I loved it so much. It was so much fun. I loved it. It was great. Uh, great people. Mo mostly great people. <clears throat> yeah, lovely. I think I liked ninety nine point nine percent of people there, and, and it was just we we laughed. We did have a laugh. Did we not? Yep, and then uh, what are you doing? Are you going to any competitions? No, no, no. You carry on, carry on. You, 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 and you're doing what else? Are you doing? That's it. If if the if that. God, you're boring. Yeah. It's so boring. I don't have time to go to these other competitions. I got, I got. If I can go to one, that's the one I can go to. I'm not gonna. 
I'm not going to go, I'm not going to take a week off and go to the classic that's new. The new classic. <laughs> the new, well, but, oh, but you know, you can have new classics, can't you? Can you not or not? I know we discussed this earlier, but. You can, but anyway, if, I mean, I'll Ooh. wait till it gets a little more classic to visit or until I'm like rich and famous and have enough time to take off. But if I'm going to oh, take God, off don't, time. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Seriously. Cause you'll be long gone. Yeah. Not so being, I, I'm not being nasty. I've, I know how untalented you are. I really, I really yeah, do. So if, I've, I've seen your film work. It's terrible. It's atrocious to say. Well, at best, it's atrocious. So, to be honest, no. I, I think you should you should go to that. You should definitely go to that at, at some stage, because I, I think it's it's good for you to like see other things, you know. And I think it's honestly, I, I genuinely think it, you should do. Yeah. Okay. Well, no. Okay. Miserable. My point is, is that right now I don't have the time to go to other competitions, so I'll, just, mm -hmm. I'll go to EPR if I can, and I'll leave that. Yeah. But I, that I is, have a, just have a feeling I'm a little too busy this year. Like I've been doing taxes, I feel like for a month, and then, you know, tax is the only thing that's so messed up. Like you know, air, air gun for the air gun business, taxes. Uh, tax is the only thing in the world where you have to do the work, and then you pay them money the irs like the irs should pay you to do that work you know like what well, and, and not only that but you have to do the work to give them money and they already know what you owe you know I, I, like so it's like it yeah. should be that they say oh you owe um hey you owe us five thousand dollars you go okay write a check give it to them yeah not not hey you owe something we're not going to tell you the amount but we want you to work like like over a yeah, few but, days of but hold on, hold on. it all no, hold on, you hang on. give it to us and if it's wrong with our numbers then we're gonna we're gonna take you to jail hang on hang on but isn't that when when you come home to your wife and you go hey darling and she goes <laughs> and you go what you know what you don't know well if i have to tell you right and you go and it's like the old uh, kgb and you're yeah. going like oh uh, i've done something i don't know what i've done i don't know how to rectify it and if I try and rectify the wrong thing that I think I might have done, then I'm guilty of that as well. So, again, another reason to get married now. Oh, that's a thermal. Very sexy. So we're gonna see. We're gonna see about it in a couple of weeks. Then. A couple of weeks. Yeah. All um, right. Anyway, well, say goodbye note, to the audience. Goodbye, viewer. Oh, no, sorry, listener. Yeah. And I hope you've had a great drive. Drive carefully. Get a cup of coffee. Don't drive too far and things, right? And get tired because it's dangerous. People don't like that. Come on, pull over and have a coffee. Relax. Go to the toilet. Don't be ashamed. Just go and have a whiz. And, ne and next time, it's only going to be 14 and a half minutes long, this, this podcast. We've got to beat Philip. Absolutely, we do. I'll tell you what. Big P. I tell you what, I'll no. He's, good. he's the loveliest guy in the world. Strange looking, I grant you. Yeah? Uh, every day's Halloween for him, but let's move on. All right, see you later. Bye. -bye. <laughs>